Baltimore County has a new police chief for now. The department tweeting out this photo of interim chief Dennis Delp being sworn in today. Delp is replacing Melissa Hyatt, who left the position at the start of the month after her contract was not renewed. In the year leading up to Hyatt's departure, Baltimore County saw a record 55 homicides and the police union held a vote of no confidence in her leadership. Well, picking a long-term police chief will be one of the key decisions in Baltimore County Executive Johnny Olszewski's new term. Fox 45's Tom Rogers spoke with a political analyst about some of the biggest challenges facing him and Anne Arundel County Executive Stuart Pittman. Baltimore County Executive Johnny Olszewski and Anne Arundel County Executive Stuart Pittman both deliver their second term inauguration speeches following two completely different races. Political analyst John Deedy says Baltimore County's next police chief will help or hurt Olszewski as he looks to another office following his two term limit, while Anne Arundel County Executive Pittman looks to listen more to his Republican constituents while leaning on Governor Wes Moore. This is a big hire for him because the police union wasn't happy with the former police chief. And a lot of people are concerned about public safety in Baltimore County because they watch the news about what's going on in Baltimore City. There's also a secondary reason why this is important. The other thing he focused on yesterday was the housing crisis in Baltimore County. And here's the political part about this. Dutch Ruppersberger, this may have been his last race. 2024 is coming up. Oshevsky's term limited after his term is completed. You need to find somewhere to go to. Now, Dutch Ruppersberger is a former Baltimore County executive, mm -hmm. so the match may fit well. John, do you think, though, that Jessica Hare, she had any influence? I mean, because it was such a tight race here, it really came down to the counting of the mail-in ballots. It took a week afterwards. But uh, do you think that now Pittman needs to, um, you know, reach out to the Republican side of that county and actually take suggestions from them? I think he's going to have to reach out in some aspect because Anne Arundel County is considered some of a purple county. It's become a little bit more blue, but there's still rural parts of the county and other areas, Severna Park, et cetera, that are still Republican strongholds. He's going to have to, you know, this, the county council is rather tight as far as Democrats and Republicans. So I think he's going to have to reach out a little bit more in that respect. But if extra money comes in from the state, everyone's going to love him. Again, Didi thinks County Executive Olszewski will be focused on either a U.S. representative seat, while others have speculated Olszewski is looking at the governor's mansion after Westmore. Tom Rogers, Fox 45 News.